metaphysician. After she died, my grandmother told me that I was a healer. You could say that I retired at forty. It's hard to stay true to the truth of a dream, but I have my work. Let me clear you a space by the fire. I like a room with a touch of Prometheus. It reminds me of my purpose here, alone with only his gift and the broken clay of human faces. The antique globe in the corner is as close as I get to the world that I left, the dysfunction I failed to solve for all I had learned from my own wound. An astrologer once told me that Venus was conjunct with Chiron in the house of my calling. A trinity of love, hurt and healing in my hands. All I will say is, I recognised the person she described. Here we are in my cave of mysteries. I repair beautiful things that are still or silent with age or neglect. Things that, like language, others have made in time out of mind, that now might stoop broke-necked or try to see with one glass eye. It's a delicate task, but the results can astonish even me. Last week I woke an ibis made of silver and mother of pearl, and heard it speak of the Dahat of Kabbalah before I watched it go, anxious as a parent or a child. All my favourites house a demon. One, Baroque as a fairground fortune teller, I call the poet. He can only speak one poem, and then only if I lend him my breath. It's a good poem. You'd enjoy it. Others play music like you've never heard, as if Orpheus really could make stone stir. So you see, I haven't given up on what my grandmother told me after she died, though I've grown as strange as my art. You are the first to wonder who I am, so for you I will do something different. Give me the music box you have brought. Thank you. I can see that it's close to your heart. Sometimes the fix is in the floor. There. Open it. Listen. The dancer, lithe as a living flame, is the prime mover. Everything around her rises to dance. <laughs>